Good evening, everyone. The Michigan Tech basketball teams are seeded fourth in the Great Lakes Intercollegiate Athletic Conference tournaments. That means a pair of home games tonight. We'll start with the men against Ferris State. And they were successful twice against the Bulldogs this season. Austin Marmka, the shot. No. Allie Hader, one of his 26 rebounds. That's a GLIAC tournament tying record. He puts it back in. Ferris, though, with the one point lead. Next, TJ Brown. We'll go baseline. He'll find Alex Cooley right in front of TV Sixes Mike Bedard for the three 18-15 tech. Then it will be Cooley finding Mike Hoynacki, the senior. He turns, pivots, swish. That works too. And that gives Tech a 22-15 advantage. Next, Ben Stelzer will find Armga right here, and he will get it over to Hoynacki for another long basket. Michigan Tech slowly pulls away to win 71 to 59. Now on the scoreboard, Michigan Tech will take on Hillsdale in Hillsdale in the semifinal Saturday afternoon. Chargers needed overtime to turn back Ashland 74-71. The other half of the bracket, Finley and Wayne State are both winners, so the Oilers will take on the Warriors in the other semifinal Saturday afternoon. Go give it Community College men were supposed to play tonight. Dakota County Technical College in a tournament game, but that has been pushed back. It will now be tomorrow at 7 o'clock, and I'm pretty sure that would be Central Time. Back to Michigan Tech, the women taking on the Lake Erie Storm. Lindsey Lindstrom to Sam Hoyt. Yep, that looks like a three. Tech leads in the second half, 57-21. Hey, that's Sam's jersey number in the second half. Congratulations. Then it's Lindstrom over to Lynn Giesler. Little jump hook action there. She had nine. Short time later, it will be Giesler over to Kate Gladowski. And Kate fires and puts one in. Four players were in double figures for Tech in this contest, one of them being Sam Hoyt. And she will take the pass and say, yeah, I'm open by about five feet. That's good enough. 64-33. Then Michelle Gadke will get the ball over to Taylor Stipple. And Stipple had the, was the leading scorer on the night. She had 18 off the bench. Cruising to the victory was Michigan Tech, 82. 252. So the Huskies will take on Ashland, the semifinal Saturday afternoon. The Eagles defeated NMU 76-56. Chelsea Lyons ended her Wildcat career with a 29-point performance. Wildcats end the season 13 and 14. In the other half of the bracket, 68 was a lucky number for both Ferris State and Tiffin, and those two teams will meet in the other semifinal Saturday afternoon. All the championship games are on Sunday. High school basketball, Class A. Yes, we had action down at Traverse City, where Marquette in red was taking on the TC Central Trojans. Second half action, Melly Tuma up and in, two over 14, and Marquette led by 13. Then the Trojans went on a run. Maddie Banky with the almost uncontested layup there. Marquette's lead down to six. And their star, Katie Knutson, started flipping things in from all over the place. She puts that one in as part of that 12 0 run. Knutson had 24 points. And even though Tuma hit this jumper here, Knutson sent it to overtime. And the Trojans ended up winning this one 66 65. So Marquette's season comes to an end the hard way on the road. Two games in Class D in the Upper Peninsula tonight. Of course, she had to really throw a rock a long way to get there. It was Pickford over Cedarville 43-37, and Brimley defeated Detour 59-35. All the rest of the changes and cancellations, et cetera, et cetera, can be found on our website at UpperMichiganSource.com. That's along. Traverse City Central defeated the Bay Area Reps. I should say that's in Division Two by the count of 3-1, to one. and TC Central will now await the winner of tomorrow's game between Marquette and Escanaba, and that will take place on Saturday in Gaylord. Thanks, Mike.